so all propped up on this very dodgy gable and tied back to the scaffold as well and uh, just got that corner to do so just putting obviously some timber struts in here just to temporarily hold that bit you can see there's a like, crack in that render so any knocking about I do here could rattle all that loose so I'm just going to temporarily hold that in place get this out and then I'm going to slide the lintel across ready to put in place So just got to clean up um, the backs there and then get this arch in bricked up, get those loose ones done again with a little bit of slate to pack it all tight and leave it until early part of next week, get the acros out and then there's another skin to go on the back so that lintel has got to sit on there and then there's another skin of block work that someone else is going to do on the inside of that gable but for today let's get this in so got my cleaned reclaims got my 3.5 hydraulic line got my water for dipping and all ready to go. So got both the screw backs in and I'm now going to take these um, existing bricks that have been cleaned up and cut in half for me for my first ring because this is going to be a double ring, rough arch. And uh, I just noticed that the line isn't hitting on there so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a face plane on the existing work and down to my arch. A little bit of a gap. So um there you go if you go along there. This is what happens when you're on existing work when it's all starting to move. You can see obviously it has moved here because obviously you put the needles through and um, we've got a crack the other side which you saw um which I've heavily barred. You can see the crack in here goes up. So again I'll um reinstate um, the arch and get this all picked up and then I'll cut out a few bed joints here and get some heli bar with chem fix just to try and knit it together yes but face plane well we'll see how we get on so I'm just having to select the bricks that have been cut because um, the stretcher isn't the equivalent to two heads so I'm having to pick all the ones that are bigger out first and I had to cut a few um, just to keep the same size but I'm gonna have to just adjust one or two and just see there's a bit of a difference so I'll just run a mini grinder over them in a little while and then I should be able to get um, with the proper halves on this one because obviously I've just increased that by they're about eight mil big I would say something like that um, but just say having a, like an 18 mil joint in the middle 
so we should be able to get away with using all these ones over there next. Um, not too sure about the key brick, I might just do um, headers because obviously I'm going to try and get an extra um, header in the outer ring, um, which should be easy. Anyway, we'll carry on. So I've just got to get these last six in and then the key brick and then I'll work out my second ring. See if I can get an extra one in both sides. We'll see. If I can't, um, I'll take the key brick out and then I'll just um, put two headers over. But, um, which I might do anyway, thinking about it, because yeah, having a key brick in there might look a bit odd. So yeah, I think I'll put a header in. Header in there and then I'll just get um, one extra because he's nice and tight so there's no way that I'm going to gain a huge amount there so I'll just gain one more um, brick in the in the second ring so got my first ring in so to get the second one I want to get an extra one in so I don't want to do it blind um, i.e. just um, guess going over I want to do it so um, they're all even. I don't want, don't want to sort of like do the joints and suddenly find, uh, oh, it's not going to work. Uh, so we suddenly get bigger joints or tighter joints or even try and trim a couple um, just to get it in. So I want to work it out. So what I'm going to do is I'll roll this baton over till I get to the centre. You can see I've got that centre mark there. See the pencil mark on the uh, centre is uh, our centre and that's where we are there. So then to double check to make sure everything's all right, I roll it from that side, roll it on and come to the center again, and bang on. So that's where we are. So I'm now gonna take this. This point is my center, and that is the brick. So obviously I've got a lower joint on there. And I'm just gonna mark all of these out, if I can find them, all my halves, and then once I've spaced them out nicely on this baton, I'll do it, on, do it all on here, and I'll mark the baton, and then with my marked baton, I will come back over here and transfer all my marks on the, off my baton onto the face of there, so I can follow them just the same as I followed those pencil marks underneath. When I was doing this one. Right, so we have got from our mark to our centre mark nice tight joints, but um, we have got tight joints on the other ones as well. So don't go by these, go by what we've got here. That's what we're going to be following. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then I've got a centre joint. So on here, we have got from there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and a half. So you see I've gained half this side, half that side, so we've got one extra header in the outer ring, which is exactly what I wanted. So um, I'm going to mark the baton, raise the line up and get these ones in. So I've just rolled the baton over there so you can see the gauge marks transferred onto the top of the first ring. And this is how I've done it obviously. Just sort of roll it over and as I roll it, I just mark it. So it just works in like that. Both rings done, so raise the line. Uh, just having a few more headers cut because not all of these are going to be 
uh, passing my test. So I'm just having another half dozen cut and we'll get them in. And then get the creepers over and then be nice to, once the creepers are done, just quickly brick up, get these bits out here and then slate it all up, ready to um, cut these out and get heli bar in um, later on. So just done the second ring over there, just raked it out, ready for when the repointers come because all this gable, well the whole building, is being raked out and repointed. So just done it. So next will be just cut the creepers in um, and then just see uh, how this was all preformed, so I don't know how it's going to work. Um, looking at this course here, that line on there, doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Looking where the line is now, that looks all right for um, how it's going to cut over. So, anyway, we will um, carry on. Creepers and brick another. <laughs> 